hi leather rock here welcome to my channel and tabby boy just left so i have a video about tech problems it's been a while since i had such an issue but i have to show you something remember this this ladies and germs is my chromebook this is the uh, last computer I took with me when I went to Washington, D.C. Now, I'm going to balance my Lenovo that I'm using to film with this. I'm going to balance it on my knee. I'm up against this back wall because the lighting I know is best. I want to show you guys something. In the back of my, my Chromebook here, you see this flash drive that's stuck through, stuck in here? Now, I'm afraid I may have waited a little bit uh, on the late side. To finally get my data from here, I have a whole bunch of videos that I shot in Washington. Um, almost all of them, well, the ones that I posted were the ones that I was able to film all the way through. The ones that I filmed in sections that I didn't know at the time, I could not edit them together in the Chromebook. So I had to wait until such time as I could retrieve the data. And I thought that I was going to be able to do a simple data transfer to a Windows-based machine. But no, I had to. I got a flash drive and I put it in there. But I have been having the hardest time getting the data from the flash from the uh, Chromebook to the flash drive. Now, I understand that the, nothing is actually in this Chromebook. I understand that it's actually in my Google Drive account. Okay, I know that. But what I am having a problem with, and, and oops, there is, I just stepped in uh, cat water. Uh, I looked on a couple of YouTube videos to try to find out the procedure and I stopped them and tried to, you know, draw up the screens. It said to like draw up your Google Drive, for instance. And anyway, long story short, I have not yet been, a been able to find how to uh, make, drag up individual files and somehow transfer them to this flash drive here. Another thing I want to show you that's wrong with this Chromebook is you see this chunk that came out of this? Uh, I noticed a piece, like a triangular shaped piece, came out of this, and then a little sliver on the side came off. I don't know how well. Can you see that? So, of course, I've dropped this a couple of times. When I needed a Wi Fi uh, connection and I was in the casinos, like Bally Sportsbook and stuff, I dropped this a couple of times, but I didn't notice the things uh, stuck out of it until like. Two weeks ago, I started noticing this, and I was almost on the verge of getting some heavy tape and sealing this so that to keep moisture out of it. Because you know how sometimes when you have computers on a table, it's easy to uh, put a coffee cup on the uh, keyboard, or not the keyboard, but you know, on these things. Don't tell me you guys haven't done it. I know it's not something you should do. I mean, it's just like you can use these areas uh, to roll joints on and stuff. Everybody does it. You shouldn't do it, but... I mean, if I could think about it, I'm sure they have those plastic protectors that can cover keyboards so that if you do eat near them you and you happen to spill something, it doesn't affect them. There was, uh, speaking of covers like that, uh, back in San Francisco, there was this place called Download Deli that was on Haight Street in the middle of, not uh, near Golden Gate Park, but not near the Panhandle either. It was more in the middle of the hate near uh, uh, Buena Vista Park. Well, Download Deli was a kind of place that you could get food there and drinks there. Like, I have a thing for lox, okay? You know, the fish. Uh, and, of course, I love raw, raw fish, too. But you can get the lox and a bagel, and they include capers and onions and sliced tomato on the kind of bagel your choice. And if I had uh, my choice, I would choose everything bagel. But almost any kind of bagel will do. But anyway, they give you um, like two hours of computer time and you can get this uh, lox and bagel, which I think at the time sent me back maybe about 10 bucks. But considering that you're getting a couple hours of computer time too, and they all had, this wasn't connections for your own device, even though for all I know, maybe they did have Wi-Fi there. Uh, but they had uh, computer terminals set up and you could eat right there because they had uh, protectors there. And so you can actually take your time and enjoy your food and, you know, check your email, which is what it was mostly about for me, you know, in those days. But, uh, and they also had a thing called FidoNet, 
in my early days in San Francisco. I don't know if you any of you guys remember that. That's one of the early internet things. FidoNet was before AOL.com. And I thought that was this really exciting new world because at the time, I think most people had to go to coffee shops to get these little computer terminals to do, go on it. And it was like BBSs and message boards and things. And only the, the really cool people that I knew in San Francisco that were kind of what we call now computer geeks knew about these things. And some of the gothic kids knew about them too, and a couple of the hippies as well. But yeah, I really have to preserve, I have to safeguard this data. These, these Chromebooks, this here is a Samsung Chromebook. And this gave me, by buying this on Wish.com, this gave, gave me three months computer usage and filming and stuff to tie me over until I could get the computer that I'm using to film with, which is my Lenovo, which I'm quite happy with. And they do pride themselves in being nice and sturdy and stuff. But uh, anyway, any of you guys that are watching this, if you can give me some suggestions maybe to help me do this, you can see the lights on. Now, another thing that's been happening with this computer since this this chip thing has been happening it has been not shutting down, but kind of the Chrome has been going off and then the screen doesn't go dead, but it has this low glow on it. And then oftentimes there's a little icon here that says that the thing, not, not the Chrome crash, but the Chrome, uh, if I wanted to, I could reset it. But usually whatever was on the screen wasn't that important anyway. This is when I'm working my different day job tasks and everything, the most efficient one to work with is Lenovo that I'm I'm filming with, but this is really good for certain low-level tasks like some of the surveys that I take and some of the videos that I can watch for some of the sites that actually pay you by the ads that play on the videos, but uh, which do not work as seamlessly as YouTube videos, by the way, just so you know. So yeah, fingers crossed I don't lose all my data on this machine. I had so many adventures in Washington, D.C. that I filmed about that I didn't get to show you guys yet. And I was waiting for the time that would be appropriate to do a block of those Washington videos because I figured if I posted them, uh, depending on when I posted them, I didn't want to confuse you guys into thinking that I was there because there was a time when uh, not too long ago when I was considering going to Washington, but those plans fell through. And yeah, I don't want to lose the date on this machine. There's like seven or eight good videos uh, at least that you haven't seen that are stuck in here, plus a lot of cat pictures and a lot of other things that I need to, um, actually there's a lot more than that that I need. That's the things I have to transfer the data manually. They don't just allow you, I wish they would, uh, there was a switch that I could just say, so let me save everything from this onto here, but no, I'm going to have to go manually. And I don't mind doing that. God knows I've done other drudgery kind of tasks similar to that. But I need to do this before this thing completely dies. And another thing, I cannot take it to Best Buy and have them do it. Even if we didn't have this COVID-19 thing where you can't, you know, have you limiting your interactions with store people and stuff. Because first of all, they're, they're really not that well versed on the Chrome OS. They don't specialize in it. Second of all, because they insist on my right to privacy that they don't want to violate, they will not do things involving individual files. If it was just something like an automatic data transfer, that's one thing, but individual files, they can't even see them. So they cannot really help me do things one-on-one. -on -one. I don't want to lose this stuff. Okay. Oh, I see a kitty at my feet. I see a beautiful pussy cat. Look at what I got here. Oh, yes. Okay. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. I try to make three videos a week of whatever I feel like doing, and I hope you guys like it too. I will talk to you soon. And this is my grumpy Cassie girl. Oh my gosh, she's so nasty. Bye-bye. Mm.